Hey, what's up guys? It's James Tropicals here. So today I'm going to be cutting open a star fruit. So here is a here's a star fruit. This is a ripe one. I have some others that are green like like this one. Here's these ones are green. I bought these from a local grocery store and uh, this one the yellow starting to come on this one. These ones are big. Here's another one. This one's still green. This one is a tiny one. It's starting it is starting to turn yellow it looks pretty good it's turning yellow it's getting there it's almost ripe but it's not quite ready yet this one is the ripest so i'm going to be showing you how to cut it open and save the seeds so first so first we're going to cut the top off and here's the inside we're going to cut off both ends and first we're going to we're going to cut this little the end here because that skin I'm just gonna cut that skin right off cut it a little bit too thin I may need to go a little, a little bit deeper but just, just cut it like that and here like that and this little skin right here and here and yeah, and yeah, so, so there's a star fruit. Now there are a few ways to cut it and get up, get the seeds out. One, one thing is you can cut all the way down, but then you're going to cut the seeds. There's another way you can actually cut right here and open up and get the seeds. You can do that. That is a way to, you, you, you certainly, you can do that to get the seeds out. But my way is to watch this. So you just cut it, cut it halfway like this, get the seeds out, and then, and then twist it like this. See that? Okay. And then you want to twist that piece like that, and then pull apart. And see, there's a little seed right there. So you want to very carefully get that seed out. There we go. There's the seed. So yeah, so you just repeat that process with the other, with the other slices. So you just turn it all the way around, twist it, pull it out, and get the seed out. See that? There's a seed, another seed. So yeah, I'm just gonna do one more piece. This is a small one, so yeah, I only had to make only. So yeah, only cut four pieces. So yeah, just twist it. And I don't see a seed, but there might be, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, here's one right here. There's a seed right there. And yeah, that's all the seeds. So yeah, I'm gonna give this a taste test. See how it tastes. Mmm. That is really good. That is a really good ripe star fruit. Hmm. Yeah. There's the pieces. That is a really, really good star fruit. I really like that. So here's the seeds. Right here, if you can see that, there's the seeds. I got only three seeds because this is a small one. But it's so good. Yeah, I really enjoy it. It's so good. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good star fruit. That yellow one. It's really good. So yeah, you want to pick these when they're yellow. You don't want to eat them when they're you don't want to eat them when they're green like this. If you do get green ones, you want to let them sit on the counter for a few days and they will ripen and turn into this, like start to yellow a bit like this, and then turn into this. So cool. So yeah. So some of you some of you probably haven't tasted it. I know a lot of you have. 
but to me it tastes like um it tastes a little bit like a grape but it mostly tastes like an a, a, an apple mostly it tastes like an apple with the crunch oh sweetness it's it's pretty crunchy with an apple a little wateriness and yeah it's really good mostly it tastes like an apple it, it reminds me of an apple a little hint of grape in it but yeah it's pretty good so the green ones if you eat these when they're green <laughs> if you eat these when they're green they taste sour and watery and uh, they're just not <laughs> they're just not very good so yeah you want to definitely let those ripen before you eat them so yeah that's all i have to say and i'll see you next time bye